What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Rainbow Six Siege. This is a video I've been wanting to make for the last week or so, but have just now kind of got around to it. And I kind of want to talk about is Rainbow Six Siege worth playing in 2020? Now I started playing Siege about five months after it was released. So I played year one, year two. I played some of year three and not a whole lot in year four. I was playing some other games, doing some other stuff here on the channel, of course. And uh, there were some changes in the game that I did not really like. But that is one thing that I can say about Rainbow Six Siege. Ubisoft always does a great job with this game of updating things, changing things, changing the way characters work or the operators work, changing the way the maps look. There's a lot of things that go on within Rainbow Six Siege that has kept this game to its 50 million uh, players that they have, you know, lo that log in and play. You know, 50 million players is a lot of players for a game that has been out for five years. Rainbow Six Siege is a lot of fun. And you know, on this channel, I do make a lot of different videos. I really enjoy playing ranked in the Call of Duty playlist. We do not really have anything right now in Modern Warfare for ranked. But if you're new to Siege, uh, in ranked mode, you play a game mode called Bomb. Bomb is pretty much the same concept as something like Search and Destroy in Call of Duty or some other things you would see like in maybe Counter-Strike or things like that. Just a very tactical one-life mode. And it is a lot of fun, of course, with attackers and defenders. There's also options to play in the unranked uh, series, which is the same rule set as ranked. You just not gain. You just do not gain or lose rank. It's pretty much just to teach you how to play. We've been playing that uh, here with one of my friends uh, who has just recently started really playing the game. They were around level 10. You cannot get into the ranked playlist until you're ranked 30. So we've been playing unranked. He's kind of learning the ropes how ranked playlist will work. And that is a good thing, in my opinion, to have something available for players to also play. If you know they're not high enough level or do not understand how ranked works, you can hop in and play in the unranked series and pretty much play the exact same mode just without gaining or losing any kind of rank. Also, there are up to 50 operators in the game right now, and of course, there are going to be more to come in year five. So there's a lot of different operators you can choose and pick from. Now, of course, there's still some of those that are the best, you know, top tier operators. But you can pretty much play with any operator and find a viable use for them. Like I said, though, some of those top tier operators are always going to be the ones that are picked. Of course, uh, like I said, Ubisoft has done a great job with updating the game. They're looking to adding, looking to add secondary gadgets into the game, hopefully this year, but they have not confirmed that yet. They've already come out with a plan for the next two years. So it shows you this game is going to be around for a very long time. They've already confirmed that they're going to be adding it to new gen consoles. Uh, they're going to be reworking Tachanka, which is one of the uh, fan favorite style characters that has been in the game for a long time. That's really not been viable. They're also reworking a lot of these maps. A lot of the older maps that came out uh, in year one, so almost five years ago, they're reworking these maps to have a fresh new look, but not just a fresh new look. Also, new lines of sight, new ways to play them. They're opening up and closing certain areas that people are used to, you know, kind of playing, uh, kind of playing those certain areas over the last several years. So. It's going to be kind of a fresh new take, even for players that have played a long time. In my opinion, if you have not played Rainbow Six Siege, it's definitely a game that is worth playing. You can catch it on sale right now in the U.S. Uh, PS4 store. It is $9 for the base game. You get the base game in the first couple years of Operators. You also can buy the expensive version, which is the ultimate version, which usually goes for $100. It's around $49 right now. And that will have all of the Operators that are available in-game as of year one to year four anyway guys leave me a comment let me know if you've ever played siege and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so uh if you are a subscriber make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner if you have a chance share the video it does help out the channel a lot and check out gt racing they are the affiliate here on the channel they sell gaming chairs and office chairs all their information is linked down in the description and i'll catch you next time peace